you can see that the hook isn't even in the shovel head's mouth. Get the head on that channel guy. Hey, that's a real nice a bluegill in here. They're all still in good shape, real lively. There he goes. I got him. There we go. I mean, he just slammed it. Oh, oh. oh it's a big one. My bluegill. Oh, nice. Real nice shovel head. That's a freaking large man. Love me. Hey, it's me, Ray Van Dam. One after another, after another. Oh, it's a monster. This is a big pig fish. Um, oh, listen to it. This is a really, really big fish. Look at that line peeling off there. It's a big one. It's a big fish. It's a lot of hours tonight. Water's real low. It's been a rough night. The shovel head. Man, worked hard for this fish. Go in here, I threw in a bluegill and real quick. I had a good take. Good hook set right in the lip. Pretty nice fish. Hope right seven, eight pounds. Nice, healthy, fat. Got him, got that big old head. There's humps in that back. Man, we're tarred for this fish. They're in here, I knew it. It's just really, really tough to get them in. There's so many snags and uh, really rough fishing. But it paid off. At least I caught one tonight. Been a rough night. We'll let it go. Get another bluegill out. There he goes. I got him. Uh. There we go. My bluegill. Just caught a channel about an hour ago on liver. Trying to do some shovel head fishing tonight on the river. Feisty up here. Of course I got a about 10 foot rod and running like 65 pound line. Main current's out there and then there's a break and it comes back into an eddy that's full of concrete. Pieces of sidewalk stop the bank from eroding. And uh, just looks like a natural, a good spot for fish. It's right in here close. A little bit bigger shovel head than last weekend. Well, a small one last weekend. I went the bluegill. Just chuck it. Just that chuck. Feisty. Current makes them awesome. It's a perfect hook set. He had it. He wolfed it. Fat. Nice fat fish. Got some real good lively bluegill. Caught about two dozen of them tonight to come out and fish. And there's the first one. Hopefully they'll get bigger than that. Although that's not, not a bad, bad fish. I'm going to release her. This here's a fairly simple rig that I use for catching uh, channel cat and flathead catfish. It is really simple. Just use a bluegill. I like to hook it right through its back, right about there. And then I'll run my weight depending on the current. If I'm fishing in the river and the current's real fast, I'll run up to like a three or four ounce sinker. Uh, tonight the current's pretty low, and so I'm using just like a one and a half ounce sinker. But you can see I got it about 12 inches right there. Uh, I adjust that and sometimes I'll go up to like 24 inches and I just set that with a split shot 
if you're not getting any bites, uh, you might want to try adjusting it up or down a little bit and, you know, play around with it a little bit. But basically, that's the really simple, easy rig, and you can catch a lot of trophy fish with this rig. When you cast these rigs, you don't want to throw it real hard or anything. You just want to use a nice lob cast. Make sure you get it out to the spot in the river that you want it. Oh, feels like a nice fish. I was using a bluegill out there. Feels like a real nice fish. Been fishing for a few hours. Caught a small channel and about a five pound shovel head earlier on. It's a little bit after midnight now. Oh, oh, oh. This here is going to be a nice fish. This spot here I'd fished about 20 some years ago and and I used to catch some nice fish and I sort of forgot about it and we came here last weekend and uh, caught a couple of smaller ones, but I thought it was worthwhile to, to come back and give it another shot. This is going to be a real nice fish. It was a big bluegill too. It was about a 7 inch bluegill. Using renegade rod and reel. Been a long wait, I'll tell you. Been patient. We've been sitting this out and sitting this out and sitting this out and sitting this out. And finally, it makes it rewarding, you know, if you have some patience, if you believe in your spot and you think it's going to be there, you know, keep trying. Don't give up. Try different things because it'll pay off. Oh, nice. Real nice shovel head. Man, he crushed that bluegill too. That was just awesome. There he is. Nice fish. Perfect. Perfect hook set. Oh. It's awesome. You know, you just got to believe in what you're doing. In your spots. And trying different things. Last weekend, believe it or not, we fished this spot. We fished for over 12 hours and I caught two fish. And I just believe this weekend, you know, I wanted to try, try it again. Man, don't give up on your spots. Think they're going to be there. Keep trying, have patience. It'll pay off. Man, putting in a lot of hours and haven't come up anything big lately, so this is real nice. And in a spot that, you know, we hiked way in here. Looks out. But we hiked into this spot. Worked all day today and real tired. And, but we went and caught about 30 bluegill. And come out and give her a try. The tail might have got hurt in the fight. Thirty-five and a half inches. Here. I'm gonna put this beautiful fish back. It's not a monster. You see a little bit of blood, but it's all right. It, it it really was just hooked up in its upper lip, so it's gonna be fine. Big, healthy, beautiful fish. It's a nice spot right here. See minnows jumping out of the way. Whatever you do, you got to be committed to it. And once you find something that works, you keep doing it. And you keep trying new things as far as spots. And uh, it'll pay off. All right. Big, beautiful fish. Going back. You can see that the hook isn't even in the shovel head's mouth. Get the head on that channel back. Man, that's a real nice little bluegill in here. They're all still in good shape, real lively.